In past videos, we've covered Rokoko's motion capture suits, which, although affordable compared to their competitors, still cost a pretty penny. But now, they've gone and developed an AI tool that turns your video recordings into motion capture data, but there's a catch. I'm kidding, there is no catch. It's completely free, which is insane. Now don't go anywhere because I want to show you how easy it is to use. All right, so to record your footage, you can just head over to the Rokoko website and go to Rokoko video and products. I'll have the link down below for you as well, don't worry. For this part, you don't actually have to download anything. You just press get started for free and all you have to do is just log in. And if you don't have an account, then you can just register and then log in and you'll have access to the Rokoko video. If it's your first time logging in, then you're gonna be presented with a bunch of information cards, which you can just close since I'm about to show you how to do it anyways. And so now let's make a scene. I'm gonna go ahead and press create new scene and let's name this scene YouTube test 01. And now you have the option to either record an animation with your webcam or a camera if you have it connected to the computer, or you can bring a clip in which you recorded before. So you can just quickly record something on your phone send it to your computer and you're good to go. That's also exactly what we're gonna be doing, but I just wanna show you this record using camera device. Now, I don't have my camera selected as you can see here, but if you did, it should automatically come up for you. And if you don't, you can go over here to select cameras. And if you have several cameras connected at the same time, you can choose between them and select the one you'd like to record with. But I'm gonna go ahead and back out of this. And we're gonna go in here again. This is the project we just made and I'm gonna press select local video file. Now let's press browse and let's choose this video right here. All right, so this is a video of me doing some jumping jacks, but it kind of starts around here. So I don't want this entire clip. So what I can do is actually cut the duration and have it start right here before I start doing the jumping jacks. And then I'm gonna take it from the end as well and cut it so it's less than 10 seconds just because, there we go. And now this is the entire clip that we're gonna be exporting into Rococo. So here's where I'll give a couple of disclaimers. Again, this is a free video tool and not a full motion capture suit, obviously. And so with that, it comes with some limitations. When recording the video you want to use, you just got to make sure that your entire body is visible. So for example, here I'm making sure my feet and my hands are visible in the video because if they're not, then there's no information for the AI to calculate or to try to figure out to turn into motion capture. There's just no information there. So make sure the entire body is in the video. Also make sure not to wear black because when you wear black, the program will have a harder time trying to track the rotation of your body. And lastly, try to not hide your limbs behind your body because, of course, if the video isn't showing what your arm is doing, then the program won't know how to turn that into motion capture. So it's just common sense, but just keep in mind to show your entire body, don't wear black clothing, and try not to hide your limbs and parts of your body from the video. So try and face the camera. All right, so let's say all that is checked and you've trimmed your video. This is what we want from second six to second 10. Now you can press turn into animation and this will take a couple of minutes. And what you have to do next is open up Rococo Studio. Now, if you don't already have Rococo Studio, this is where you finally have to download something. And don't worry, it's free as well. So I'm gonna go to rococo.com and you wanna go to products studio software so let's go to download studio and you actually want the rococo studio beta because i checked the legacy version of the studio and i didn't see an option for the rococo video in there so go ahead and download the beta version and once you downloaded it and your video is fully processed like mine just did uh, you can go ahead and open the studio and i'm just going to refresh here there we go, YouTube test 01. It just showed up for me and I'm gonna go ahead and open scene. Cool, so it's fully loaded and I can go ahead and double click on the new recording.
and let's press play all right look at that that's our video so this is this video right here we turned that in just a couple of clicks into a motion capture now while you're in the program you can actually do a couple of things so you can still continue to trim but uh you see these green and blue bars here this controls when your foot is actually placed on the ground now let's say i want the blue foot to actually lift off at the same time as the green here as you can see green lift off first so what i can do is drag the blue line and bring it all the way back until it reaches the green line and now both feet lift off at the same time and here as well if you want both feet hitting the ground at the same time you can just drag the blue one to reach the green and now both feet make contact at the same time now let's say that you've made your way through the entire thing and you fixed all the feet placement and you want to export the animation. What you can do is head over to export here. Well, make sure you have this selected. Head over to export and make sure the format is FBX. You're including the body skeleton. You don't want the body mesh unless this is for uh, games or some specific reason where you need the mesh. You just need the body skeleton. And here we don't have any face animation, so we're not going to include the face. I'm going to leave the skeleton as human IK. You'll have the option for Mixamal, Unreal, and Rococo Newton, but human IK seems to work best, for my uses at least. And you want to make sure that include the reference pose is checked. Once that's done, you're setting the FPS, which 24 FPS. Most animations are in 24 FPS, so we're going to leave that. And lastly, you can choose where you want to export this. All right, I found my file. I want to export my animation in here. And now I can just press export, let it do its thing, done. You can even open the folder and there you have it. You have the FBX file for the animation we just exported. That was just a couple of clicks. If I wasn't explaining this, it would be done in just a couple of minutes. And so very quickly we turned this video into a motion capture animation. Now to import this motion capture into Blender, you can go to File, Import, and choose FBX. Now let's find our video. And there's the FBX. Now in Armature, make sure to select Automatic Bone Orientation and import the file. And there you have it. We have a little broken foot right there, but we can fix that. But here we have it. That's the animation exported into Blender. We can adjust this later and, uh, and fix some of the animation, but the main motion is there. So all it needs is just a little bit of tweaking to make sure the character is balanced and fix the foot. And the rest probably saved me as an animator if I were to use this. Save me a ton of time because all I have to do is just tweak a couple of things instead of animating this from scratch. And let's be honest, if I was making this animation, I would be recording the reference anyways. So now I could just use the reference video to turn that into mocap. And the fact that this is free, what kind of world are we living in? Uh, AI is taking over, this is insane. Now, all the links for this will be in the description. Now, if you want to be an amazing animator and not fully rely on mocap, because mocap has its place, but if you don't actually have an animation foundation and you don't know the essentials, then you don't really know how to fix up your mocap, do you? If that's the case and you're looking to learn, make sure to sign up for our newsletter where we share updates about our upcoming animation course. We're planning a release early next year. We'll, we'll be sending out more details later, but we've been working on this course for over two years now. We're putting everything we have into it and the response from our early testers have been amazing so far. So make sure to sign up for the newsletter. It's completely for free. You'll just learn a little bit more about the course before it comes out and that's it. So thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one.